Hi! So this video is going to be a summer makeup look that I've been doing and this is going to be featuring the Too Faced a la mode eyes palette. This is just the box and I have been playing around with this for about a month or so and I decided I wanted to do a makeup summary makeup look featuring this palette. If you've watched my past few videos, you've seen that the background is different. I switched between filming in my room and my sister's room. My sister's room is the pink one. I'm filming in my room today um, because, I don't know, I, I just, I don't mind filming in my room. I just think that her room is a lot more roomy and um, she has just a cuter background and everything. But yeah, so don't pay attention to um, all of the clutter in the background, so yeah. The first thing that I want to touch on before I uh, do this is that I have a new special member of my family that I want to show you. Uh, for those who watch my videos, I just want to introduce you to a new special being in my life. Can you look at the camera? Can you look at the camera? Her name is Maleficent, and I know there are going to be some people commenting saying that I'm only naming her that because of the movie that was just released. But people in my family, or people who know me at all, know that I have been meaning to get a cat and name her that. Um, Maleficent is my favorite Disney villain. She always has been. And I've had the actual name tag for her collar made up months prior to knowing I was actually going to adopt a cat. Um, so yeah, she is not quite three months old yet, and I just got her a few days ago, uh, but she's absolutely adorable, and um, I don't know, she's already become my best friend, so yeah. You look at the camera? But yeah, so um, she doesn't have her collar on right now, but we put her collar on when we take her out. So yeah, you can go ahead, go back to playing. Yeah, I just wanted to pop that in right there because she means a lot to me and I'm so excited and she's my cat and I named her and everything, so yeah. But anyways, as you can see, I have no makeup on and uh, yeah, so let's get right into it. During the summer, I try and use as l like the least amount of product as possible. I was trying to figure out a way to word that. Um, I don't use very many face products products as it is, but especially so during the summer. So I'm not going to be using any foundation or anything like that. I don't use foundation anyway, but um, if you do that in your normal summer routine, then go ahead and do that. This is mainly just a focus on the eyes, but I'm going to go ahead and show you everything that I do anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and start with filling in my eyebrows. This is the Lancome Color Design Single Eyeshadow in the color Mochaccino. It's a cool toned milk chocolate brown, and I really like it for uh, filling in my brows. I don't do anything um, special. I don't do a bold brow. If I wanted to do a bold brow, I would use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. Um, but lately, I've just been wanting a subtle brow, so I just go ahead and take an angled brush. This brush specifically is the Smashbox number 12 brush, but any angled brush will do. So I'll go ahead and just dip in there, and then I just go ahead and start filling them in. Okay, so I just went ahead and filled them in very lightly, didn't go too dark, um, and then to seal them I'm going to be using the Maybelline Great Lash Clear Mascara. Before I start to work on the eyes, I'm going to put a lip balm on. This is just the one that I have in my makeup bag. It's the EOS Lip Balm in the Passion Fruit um, flavor, I believe. I'm going to be taking the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and Original. It's my favorite eyeshadow base. I'm going to be taking a little bit of that and putting it between my two fingers and applying it all over my lid.
To start off with the shadows, I'm going to be taking a matte light brown transition shade to pop in my crease. And I'm going to be taking this color from the Sony Kashuk Ion Neutral Palette. I've showed this quite a few times. Really, really like it, and I really like this shade. Um, obviously, if you don't have this palette, just find a light brown matte color doesn't have any shimmer or sparkle in it and um, have it be either neutral or on the warmer tone considering we're going to be working with corals and pinks. And I'm just going to be taking a fluffy blending brush. Yes, this one is dirty, but I do use it for my neutral eye look, so it really shouldn't uh, ruin the color. I'm just going to be going ahead and blending that out just a little bit to make it lighter. Now with the A La Mode palette, I'm going to be taking this color right up here, and this is the Saint Tropez shade. Um, it is a very nice light cream color, but it's got a lot of gold reflex or sparkles in it, and it's super, super pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and take a flat like shader brush. This, this works. This is just an up and up brush from Target. I'm going to go ahead and get that all on the brush, and then pack it on. Now using the same crease brush that I used with the transition shade, this is actually just an Avon brush. It's the Avon Rounded Shadow Crease Brush and it's just really good for popping a certain color in your crease. I'm going to be wiping that off and using this shade right here. It's called Jardine, I'm assuming, and it's a really nice light uh, kind of pearlescent coral color. I'm going to go ahead and load that up on my brush. Not too much, but I guess that's what load that up means. Go ahead and run that over where the brown is. Now I'm going to be taking a small, flat kind of shader brush, but it's pretty small. That way I can work in small spaces, and I'm going to be dipping that into the Monaco shade right here, which is a nice hot pink color. But it's not just like a matte hot pink. It's got kind of like an iridescence to it. When I swatched it, it almost had like a purpley kind of sheen over it, which I think is really, really unique. So we go ahead, but be careful because this is extremely pigmented and you don't want a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and tap my brush and get just a little of it. Now you want to pack the pink up to where it's visible that there's pink there, but you don't want it to look like um, you got an infection. Because sometimes all over pink shadow can make it look that way. I've done pink all over my eye before and it didn't really. But then again, I did blend it with other colors. So go ahead and just take it. Blend it into my crease. I don't want to bring it all the way in the corner though. So just keep that with the St. Tropez shade and the coral -y color. I'm going to go back in with the coral color. Make sure we didn't lose any of that. Alright, now time to blend, blend, blend. Obviously this eye is not done. This one is, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what this eye looks like um, after it's blended and then I'm going to go ahead and finish this one. On a really small, fine, detailed brush, this is just a Victoria's Secret dual end brush that came with one of their Victoria's Secret Fashion Show makeup bags. I'm going to be taking this La Croissette shade 
think that's how you say it. I never took French. Um, but I'm going to be taking that because it's very shimmery. I'm going to be adding that to my inner corner. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this eye and then add liquid liner. Okay, so the liquid liner that I used is the L'Oreal Carbon Black Liner Intense. It's just my trusty go-to liquid liner. Now I'm going to be doing my lashes. Um, I'm going to be applying one coat of the Sills Booster XL, which is a Lancome Lash Primer. So I'm going to go ahead and do one coat of that. And now I'm going to be putting on one coat of the Lancome Hypno Star. This is just a deluxe size sample. And it's got a weird type of brush. I didn't like it the very first time I ever tried it, but I started using it a little bit more. So when you turn it on its side, it's flat, but then it has a cone shape. You're supposed to use it both ways to get, you know, make it most effective, but I just do my own thing with um, putting on one coat and it works perfectly fine. So I'm going to go ahead and do one coat of that. So I went ahead and did a coat of the Lancome Hypno Star, and then I also tight lined halfway, which I didn't want to film because I figured nobody wanted to see me rolling my eyes back in the back of my head. Um, but it's the NYX Collection Noir Matte Black Liner. That is what I used to tight line. I just really like it because it's a nice skinny black pencil. It is not uh, waterproof or smudge proof or anything. Now I'm going to go ahead and work with underneath my eyes. I'm not going to be using a heavy duty concealer at all. Um, I'm actually going to be using a BB cream. This is the Maybelline Dream Pure BB cream. Um, it had a new display at my Walgreens, but when I went to go do some research on it, there had been video reviews on this product on YouTube from like a year or so ago. So... It's new to me, but um, obviously not new to the rest of the world. So I'm going to be using a little bit of this. I'm going to squirt it on the back of my hand, and I'm going to work with my fingers to blend it in underneath my eyes. It is a sheer to light coverage, so you're not going to be getting crazy coverage, but I don't have really bad dark circles underneath my eyes today or lately. Um, if you do, then use a color corrector or whatever. Um, concealer that you like to use but I've just been liking this lately because it does also have that brightening effect under my eyes. And then I'm just going to be setting that with the Makeup Forever HD powder with my Real Techniques setting brush. Really nice, small, fluffy brush to get right underneath your eyes or honestly around your nose um, to powder and stuff like that. So I'm only taking a little bit and we'll go ahead and do patting motions. I don't like to sweep it because then you're running the risk of moving your concealer that you just laid down. Patting just pats that powder right on top. Alright, now if you're watching this video and you really like your blush uh, and bronzer or contour, go right ahead. Personally, I would put blush, um, a little bit of like a peachy blush on, and then as far as bronzer goes, just warm up my whole face on like the temples and around my cheeks and my jawline. I wouldn't necessarily contour or anything because again, I'm not trying to do anything heavy today. So. I'm going without the blush and the bronzer. Normally, my because I'm such a fair-skinned person, um, I get a natural flush, and also I'm kind of sunburned, so I'm going to use that as my excuse not to really put much on my face. Um, on my my nose is where I really have a lot of sunburn, but I actually am going to put a little bit of highlight on the tops of my cheeks, and I'm going to be using the NARS Copacabana Illuminator. Really, really pretty uh, liquid champagne highlight. You only need a little bit. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, as you can see, that's on my fingertip. I probably put too much, but I'm going to take it and just put it at the cross tops of my cheeks. And then, yeah, I think I put too much, but that's okay. And then my Cupid's bow. I feel like I'm going to look like a disco ball. And then go ahead and I take my fingers and I like to blend it. If you had foundation on already, you probably wouldn't want to do what I'm doing. Um, you might want to take a um, sponge. This is just the Real Techniques 
sponge. Really, really like this. Your beauty blender or anything like that. So get all of that highlight blended in. And now the last step for me is to be doing my lips. I'm going to start off with the Milani Anti-Feathering Lip Liner. Um, I've talked about this as well. A lot of these products that I've used I've talked about at least quite a bit and um, it claims to be a lip primer and a line filler and basically what I do is I take it sorry probably be better if you could see I line my lips and then I fill it in now I have three lipsticks here and I'm going to show you them and swatch them on my hand. I'm going to put one on and the one I'm going to be using is a nude type color. It's kind of like a neutral type color. This is the one color that I haven't worn with this look yet. The other two I have worn with uh, this eye look and I really, really like it. So I'm going to show you the first one. This is the Sounds Like Noise lipstick from um, the Haley Williams collection by MAC. and. I talked about this a little bit in my lip product attic tag, which was my last video, and if you want to go see that, I'll put that link in the description. But basically, it's just a regular MAC lipstick, um, and it's a true orange matte finish. Really, really nice. We'll go ahead and swatch that right here. I have worn this, uh, if you want to be a little bit more daring, just because it brings out the coral tones of the eye look a little bit more. Because you did blend that with a transition shade, the coral tones don't come out true to color like that. You kind of just created a new shade. But um, I still find that this, I just really like wearing a bold lip with these kinds of colors. And then the second one I have, I was going to say Pink Pigeon, but then I have this one that I like um, just as much, and this is the CoverGirl lipstick. I don't know what is the name of the CoverGirl lipstick collection, but this is in the color Bombshell Explosion, number 327. And I like the finish of this a lot more than Pink Pigeon. Pink Pigeon is a matte, and this is more of like a satin um, or creamy tight finish and I would use this as well just because that pink that we have in the corners and then the one I'm going to wear which is a color that I haven't worn in a long time it's the Stila Longwear Lip Color in the color Flushed and it comes in a retractable pencil like that and it's just a really nice it's like a neutral dusty rose pink kind of color so I'm going to go ahead and put that on and this is what the finished makeup looks look like with the Stila flushed color on my lips. I just really like it um, because it is one of the more neutral shades I have. I don't own very many neutral or nude lip shades. Um, I want to venture out and get some more, but I really, really like this color just because it has that, that still rosy pink undertone to it. So thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it and hopefully you'll stay tuned for my next video to come. Bye.